All right, so I'm mixing up um, three bowls of Payne's Grey. Um, this one had a, a large amount of pigment in it. Uh, as you can see here, had a large amount of pigment in it. This one had uh, about a half, a half less, and then this one had half less again. So we've got three very different strength washes. Um, and we'll see um, when we start pouring them onto a full page how that goes. I've never really done this before but I really like some of the works by Mao Lizzi, a Chinese artist. I love his large abstracts. And I'm not quite sure how he goes about doing that and so um, I wanted to just experiment with watercolour. I suppose because it's a medium that I know. So I think what I'll do is I'll just try doing this on paper, um, not taped down. We'll see how that goes, hey? Um, yeah, interesting. I think I'm going to pour the weak one on first, and we'll see what happens. So I'm just I'm going. To, I, I want um, strong edges, so I'm not wetting the page or anything like that. And we'll just see how this goes. And, and actually, I probably could water that down a bit more. Just, just I've got a fair bit of liquid. I've done 12 sprays so far, so I might do another 12. All right. So also, I'm not sure how it's going to go pouring from these bowls, but um, we'll see, won't we? Mm, bit drippy. And so far, no real movement of. Interesting. Now I might just get a bit of water because if I just tip water in then we'll... Whoa! This is very interesting. This is meant to be the weak wash so far. Very interesting. Let's get the next strong wash. Pour this in. Mmm, very nice. It's actually nicer when you wet the page and then you pour into uh, wetness, which is very interesting for me. Ooh. Very hard to control process there. That is beautiful.
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave this overnight because there's no way I can pick this up or move it. Um, and as you can see here, the paper is buckled up, which is pushed up and made the paint go into deeper channels. Here, this was just water here, but then the pigments moved into that, which is very cool. I don't really want to disturb some of these really interesting marks. But of course, this will look very different once it's dry. So this is Payne's Grey. I'm just doing some experimenting with abstracts. Onto paper. Quite a hard process to control. What is quite amazing here with this abstract is how fat that water is or the watercolour mix is on the page. It's really fat. You can see it there, it's just sitting really proudly up on the on the surface of the paper. I'm not quite sure why that is, but it's pretty fascinating. Look at that. It's quite amazing. So anyway, we'll leave that. We'll come back and see. It's not, it's not quite the, the shapes that I'm looking at getting. Um, to me, there's too many um, dribble lines and things I want. I want more organic sort of shapes that I can control a bit with some layers. So we'll see when this dries whether I can put a layer on over the top of this. Anyway, nice. Excellent. So I think I'm just going to have to leave it there for tonight because um, I can't really move this, it'll totally ruin it. And probably if I was going to do this in future, I would wet the whole um, paper and then put that uh, brown tape on that you put when the paper's wet, so that, it was, so that it's really, really, really tight on a proper board. So it doesn't do any, any of this sort of uh, bulbous paper which is happening here and here and and I, I knew that would be the case but um, yeah it's, it's probably affecting in a way I don't really want it to. Yeah so it will be interesting to see how that dries. So uh, this is how that abstract pouring painting turned out and, and what ended up happening is I, I, I came back into the studio the, the next day and this huge puddle had still not dried and so I decided to take advantage of that and wipe that out and create some interesting textures there. And, um, and so I don't know where this is going to end up, whether this is a, a finished painting or not. Any, any comments are, are appreciated. I don't normally paint in an abstract style like this, but I, I am wanting to go in that direction, uh, but I'm just uh, experimenting at the moment so I do like in watercolors I love doing layers in a landscape and so it, it might be that I have to experiment more with how to do layers and not necessarily pour them like that and also if anyone's got any ideas I don't know if you saw the, the, the beginning of this video and watched it in, in its entirety but when I poured here and we saw this body of watercolor just come out into a wet page if I could have kept that there instead of it expanding out like this, that's what I really am looking for really is, is just that movement pour and then the movement in expansion, uh, but then a, a firm edge. So I don't know if I could put something on the page 
like a, like a water resistant oil or alcohol, I don't know. So if anyone's got any ideas on how I could pour watercolor onto the page and have it move, but, but not cauliflower, uh, and not do this on the edge of the page, I'd, lo I'd love to know. So this is where this is at at the moment, and obviously if I go any further with this at some stage, then I'll let you know. But it's pretty cool, pretty cool marks and movements of the water, and and the uh, over time the movement of the pigment. It, it is pretty in incredible. So uh, I, I did a little bit of detail in these places while it was still a bit wet, but really apart from that, I, ha I haven't touched it really, and apart from mopping up so a big puddle of uh, pigment here and scraping that back. I, I really haven't touched that. All of these other marks are all just natural movement of the pigment and then the whole natural drying process, just like a like a lake, I suppose. And some of these, if you can see, I might, um, I might take a few photos of that. Some, some, some of these really small marks here, some of this movement of the pigment, really interesting and, and that's what I love about watercolour is a lot of these marks that's that's what I love on the page that beautiful freedom and just marks on the page that you just wouldn't otherwise get if you really tried to paint each individual little bit of that so thanks for joining me and I'll see you soon good night